Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys the top 25 iOS 14 home screen widgets. Now with the release of iOS 14, a ton of apps have been updated and released to support home screen widgets and there are some pretty cool widgets that you can install on your iOS 14 device. So in this video, I will show you guys the top 25 of these widgets that you can install on your iOS 14 iPhone. Starting things off with World Clock. Now, World Clock allows you to have different clocks, different time zones on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. It has a bunch of different widgets, different sizes that you can add to the home screen. And what's cool about it is that it allows you to customize the widgets. So your 3D touch on one of the widgets, tap on edit widget, and here we'll have all the different options which allow you to customize the widget any way you like. The next widget is widget for Spotify. This is a widget that will show you the now playing song on Spotify. Now, Spotify doesn't have its own widget. I believe it's coming very soon, but for now you can install widget for Spotify. You can see it has two different sizes and it shows you here the album art as well as the information about the song that is currently playing on Spotify. Next, we have the day before. The day before is an app that allows to set different events, of course, in the future, and you will have all of them on the home screen using the widgets. Now, you can install different kind of widgets. It has like different sizes and, of course, displaying different information. Now, you can have one here that shows you all the different events that you have set on the app, or you can have one that shows just a single event you can see right here. Of course, you can customize the background and make it look really, really cool. And, of course, you will have the information regarding your events in the future right on the home screen. The next widget for the video is called standings. Now this one allows you to basically follow your favorite teams from different sports and you will have the standings right here on the home screen. Now on the bigger widget you can see right here, it shows you the standings for your favorite team, which of course you can set from the app. And then it will show you right here, the latest scores from that team. And of course the future matches as well. Now it has different kinds of widgets, the two by two, the two by four, and the bigger one, the four by four widget. Next up is Calorie. Now, Calorie is an app that allows to track your nutrition, how much you have eaten, and it also shows you how much you have to eat in order to lose weight or anything you want to do. Of course, all that can be set from the app. And then through the widgets on the home screen, you will be able to follow your progress, how much you have eaten through, through the day and how much you have left to eat and all that stuff. So of course, it has all kinds of different widgets, different sizes that you can apply to the home screen and display different informations regarding this app. Next up is Favorites. Now, Favorites is an app that allows you to select 10 favorite contacts and have them right here on the home screen. Now it offers just this size of widget for now and it displays the pictures right there of the different contacts that you have set as your favorites. Now from here you can tap on one of the contacts and it will show you the list here from where you can call, send a message, FaceTime or send a WhatsApp message. Social Counter is the next one for this video. This one allows you to follow different accounts, different social accounts from YouTube, Instagram and I believe Twitter as well and have them right here on the home screen of your device. And as you can see, it will show you the count of followers right there. And of course, it will also show you the username that you're following. You can have this widget or the bigger one, which will display more accounts on one widget. Next drop is the next widget for this video. Now, if you're a sneaker head, you like sneakers, then this is the one for you. It will show you the next sneakers that are dropping right here on the home screen. So we'll have all kinds of different sizes that you can choose from. You have the two by two, the two by four, and the four by four right there. And you will have all the kind of different shoes that are dropping next. And of course, right here, we'll see also the time when they are dropping. Next up is Battery Widget. Now this one will show you all kinds of different details regarding your device. Now here we have three widgets from this app. Right here it shows the connection. So we have Wi-Fi Cellular. It shows you which one of them is turned on currently. Right here we have the device information, the system version, and the system uptime right there. And at the top you can see we have battery, brightness, storage, and RAM memory. You have all kinds of different widgets that you can add from this app. Next up is a really beautiful clock widget. Now this one displays the clock on the two by two widget. And if you tap right there and go to the app, you will have various different types of clocks to choose from. And of course they will be updated and show it on the home screen. As you can see, it looks really, really beautiful. 
Next up is Widget Hub. With Widget Hub, you will have widgets that display all kinds of different informations that you need to know. The battery percentage of your device, the today's date, and the clock, of course. Tapping right there, you can go to the app where you can customize the look of the widgets and also what you want this to display on those widgets. Widget Scanner app is the next app for this video and this one allows you to quickly scan anything you want directly from the widget. So it will have five different buttons to scan image, to scan a PDF, to scan a QR code or a barcode. You just tap on one of them and it will take you right to that section on the app from where you can do the scan. Currency widget will display the current currency rates right here on the home screen. You have two different sizes, the 2x4 and the 2x2 widget, which basically shows you the currency that you choose from the app and then you can of course have it right here converted into other currencies that you also choose from this app. Day to day will display you different information that you need to know on the home screen of your device. You have this one right here, which shows you the date, the battery and the custom message, which you can set through the app. And then you have this one, which looks more simple, but it also offers a ton of different information. Now, when you go to the app, you will have the option here to go ahead and basically customize these widgets any way you like. You have here different themes. And if you go to settings, you can change all kinds of different stuff here, add the message and change what you want to see on this widget and of course customize its colors as well. Health Activity Lookup will show you all informations you need to know regarding your health. So right here we'll have a ton of different widgets that you can add from this app. Here we have three of them. We have here like a summary of our steps, the walking distance and the floors that we have climbed. Then here we have the sleep analysis and then here we have the activity. So you can have all kinds of different informations on different widgets from this app and you can also customize the looks of these widgets. Widgetly allows us to have all kind of different widgets which you can customize and display all the informations you need and whichever informations you want. Like here I have one that just is just a simple one. It shows just the current date. And then here we have the resting heart rate. Now if I tap here and tap on edit, I can go ahead and select another one, which of course I have created on this app. So here I have the steps. You can basically change to any widget you want, which you can create and of course, enter a name from them and then you will have them on the list right here and quickly switch from them directly on the home screen. Widget Radar is the next one for this video and it shows you the weather radar for your city or your country as well. So you go ahead and add the home screen widgets and you can, then you can go ahead and 3D touch on it, tap on the edit right there and you can choose the zoom here, it can show world, region or just city and of course you can also change the location right there. I will have different kinds of sizes here displaying different information. T-Wid is the next one for the video. It displays nothing. It basically just shows you like empty widgets that you can add to the home screen to create blank spaces like this. Now what you have to do is just go to the edit mode and just go to the last page which is blank, take a screenshot and then just add that screenshot to the app and then you will be able to add all kind of different widgets which basically allow you to have a blank space right here on the home screen. Now here I have the widget right there at the top. If I want to move this at the bottom and have the icons for example at the top, I go to edit widget right here and choose the position where I want to put this widget and then of course it will also change the image there which is this part right here to create that blank space. Next up is a simple one called flip clock. It basically shows you a flip style clock on the home screen. So you will have two different sizes. You have the two by four and the two by two, and you can add them to the home screen. They're just simple black. You cannot customize them, but they look actually really, really cool. Next up is Better Me. This is basically an app that will help you motivate you work out and basically better yourself. So right here you can see we have two different widgets from this app. It has a ton of them more which you can add of course from the widget panel. Right there at the top we have the first one which basically shows you motivational quotes and then right here we'll have your calories. You can tap right there and it will take you right to the app from where you can go ahead and enter your calories and then it will of course display them right here. So it has a ton of other widgets which you can add from the widgets panel. Next up is Uno. Now this is a simple widget which basically allows you to have a message that you want right here on the home screen. Like a note or something, you will have two different sizes. You tap right there, it takes you to the app from where you can customize it and you can enter your message. You can add also right here like a symbol that you want and then of course they will be displayed on the home screen. Next up is Wikipedia. Now with Wikipedia you can have like 
eight different widgets on the home screen of your iPhone, displaying different informations. Now here we have two of them, right here is the image of the day, and then right here we have on this day, which basically will show you everyday things that will ha that have happened on this day. So you will see the first right there, and then you will have the others, which you can go ahead and open on the app. Dash dot dash is the next one for this video. Now this one allows to have your custom widget right there. You can add your images on or anything else you want. And the cool thing about it is that the name right there are just two dashes and a dot, which will basically look very, very clean. If you add your own image right there, you won't have like a large like name here of the widget. You will have just basically those little symbols right there, which will make it look really, really cool and very clean. Weather line allows to display the weather on the home screen of your iPhone and it shows you the hourly forecast right there. It has different widgets that you can add different sizes displaying different informations. Now, if you tap right there and go to the edit widget, you will have the chance here to change the location and also from here, go ahead and change the theme of the widget that you're using and you can do that individually for each of the widgets from this app. And last but not least is word of the day. Now this one will show you different words every day and of course show you the meaning of that word. So of course we always have to learn something new. So with this widget on the home screen of your device, you will learn new words every day. So that is it for this video guys. These are 25 iOS 14 home screen widgets that you must have on your iOS 14 device. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to download any of these widgets, make sure you go ahead and check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.